what is process mining? Well, process mining automates the process of identifying inefficiencies, allowing businesses to streamline their operations and achieve higher levels of efficiency. So instead of blindly trying to automate and improve your workflows, ServiceNow's in-platform process mining solution allows an organization to understand how processes interact with each other, identify some bottlenecks for you, and then helps you make smart decisions about how to improve them. This quick demo will introduce you to how. So many organizations run their businesses with dashboards just like this one, tracking critical KPIs and how they are trending towards the goals we've set. But when KPIs start to trend in the wrong direction, understanding why and how to improve them isn't always easy and obvious. That is where process mining comes in. For example, if we see our MTTR is trending in the wrong direction, in a single click, we can drill down to the process mining workspace to get a better understanding of some of the inefficiencies, and more importantly, the opportunities to improve. In the process mining workspace, we're immediately presented with both AI-driven and rule-based improvement opportunities categorized by the top of, type of opportunity and the KPIs they impact. For example, the engine will call out situations where work is repeating steps in the process, ping pong between teams, or perhaps going through an additional step, all things that would be slowing us down. Or this example here, where we have a significant number of incidents that are at some point in their life going to, into the state of awaiting caller info. The most important piece of information here is these 43 years worth of productivity packaged up in just this one step of the process. Even if we could reclaim just 1%, that's a win for us from an organizational perspective. So now that we understand the opportunity and its magnitude, let's dive deeper to see if there are ways to reclaim some of that time. And we can do that right from here and then drill down into the workbench. Now, the workbench is gonna allow us to continue the conversation with the data. We can use the interactive map to get a better understanding of how work is flowing into and out of the state of awaiting caller info. So here we can see the work that's flowing in from in progress to awaiting caller info. And now we can start looking at the duration and things that are flowing, of the things that are flowing out of that state, just to get a better understanding of the actual inefficiency and its overall impact. We can then start to use our breakdowns to slice and dice the workbench and look at different aspects of the data. So maybe we want to look at these. 8,400 incidents that are going into a waiting caller info by assignment group, priority, category. Any way that you've structured the data on the platform, you can use to help you better understand this inefficiency. Now here, let's take a look from a channel perspective. The thing that jumps out to me are the tickets that are coming in via email and going into a waiting caller info, because there's a whole additional week of duration packaged up in those. So maybe we want to focus in on things coming in via email. We can hit apply. Once we've isolated it to the subset of tickets that are coming in via email and going into a waiting caller info, we can do a number of other things. We can use the histogram here to potentially look at the things that are going into a waiting caller info two, three, four, or five times. We potentially could use our AI-driven root cause analysis to get an understanding, a better understanding of the leading influencers that are driving things into this awaiting caller info state. We can drill down directly to the records if we have the rights to do so. This is a huge advantage of an in-platform approach to process mining. That ability to access the operational data and the ability to leverage the existing security to manage who can see what. Big, big advantage to an in-platform approach to process mining. Or we can use AI to get a better understanding of the patterns in the textual data, like short description descriptions where much of the actionable information lives. For example, here we've identified a, identified a cluster of tickets in which it's just people trying to change their email address and their profile. That seems like something we should have a catalog of, uh, item for or potentially a virtual agent conversation. And if we do have those things in place already, maybe we just need to market them a little better. So now that we've identified the opportunity to improve, we need to close the loop. We need to ensure that this insight gets captured tracked, prioritized, and followed up on. And we can do that by linking directly to our continual improvement management exist initiatives that exist already. And now we can come in here and say, hey, I want to say, make sure that this is aligned to our initiative to improve or resolve our incidents by 25%.
or improve, sorry, the resolution time of an incident by 25%. So in a matter of minutes, we're able to identify a potential inefficiency in our process, how we potentially could improve that, and then close the loop by capturing it with a continual improvement management initiative. There are so many ways that we can improve our processes that are running on the ServiceNow platform and even those that are running outside of the ServiceNow platform. This was just a quick example of how you potentially could use process mining to do that. And now there's no shortage of opportunities for you to learn more about ServiceNow's in-platform process mining solution. There's an on-demand training on the Now Learning site. There's a great white paper about how we've applied process mining here at ServiceNow. There's a whole community forum on community.servicenow.com focused on process mining and some of the common questions that are there. There's a process mining academy with over 20 recorded sessions that you can dive into to learn more about process mining. We just looked at one example, a, a channel analysis example, but there's so many different uh, use cases that you could apply process mining to. We've started a process mining use case series for you to uh, learn about how to apply process mining to solve common challenges like work that's taking longer to route than resolve or doing SLA breach analysis. And then, of course, if you want to learn more about kind of how to get started and how you could be doing what we just did in a matter of minutes, there's a great live on now getting started with ServiceNow's in-platform process mining recording out there that walks you through plugins, project setup, um, and doing some uh, initial analysis. Appreciate your time here today. Look forward to working with you. Happy mining, everyone.